Hey guys, welcome back. This is for adults, not made for kids. This is an adult video for adult collectors. As such, there is adult language in it not suitable for kids. After warning all parents that this is for adults, we can begin. <clears throat> okay, this is one of those crazy ass toy lines that is just freaking hilarious. I love this toy line. Now, as, as I was growing up, I never saw too much of this cartoon. I maybe seen one or two, maybe at the most five episodes at the most, but I haven't seen the entire series, which is only 13 episodes long. Uh, there's only uh, one season. After the 13th episode, they canceled the cartoon. Um, I don't know. Maybe it was just too goofy, too funny, too bizarre. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I love the toys. That's one thing that just got me hooked was the toys. You cannot move them. They are permanently like statues. They're little statues. And they are awesome. I just freaking love the toys. Um, <laughs> yeah, really. I freaking love this toy line. Um, so when I made this particular video, I'm going to say... Oh man, I don't know. Uh, probably four or five years ago, around there. Um, I didn't have... Well... The majority of what you see here. I had a few figures, but not all that you see here. Now, um, I am missing two uh, vehicles, and I am missing two figures. So the two figures are MIA, <laughs> and the two uh, vehicles for the the, what is it? The the Porks is the Pork Chopper, which is a helicopter. And then for the Rams is a Ram tank. So, a tank. Now, I have the gun for the tank. But the tracks and the, you know, the rest of the actual tank, I do not have. So, that sucks. <laughs> but, you know, it's pretty cool to, just to have that there. Now, again, this is a wacky, goofy, freaking funny as hell toy line. Uh, even cartoon. I mean, for the most part, they argued about everything and anything. It's just so stupid, funny. It's so stupid, it's funny. Um, I don't know how else to explain it. Um, so, I do have this figure right here. The one in the green, I have him in the box there. This one here is the only one I have, and he is in the box. The two that I am missing are those two guys right there. And the rest we will talk about and talk, like, uh, look at the little sculpts and all that stuff. So uh, let's move the ones that I am missing that are MIA. <laughs> So, this figure here, this is his name, alright, this is him right here, and this is his little accessories. Now, he's not complete, but just an overall look of this guy at this guy. You can see uh, how he does look like. Let me pull this little helmet off of him. It's like a little jetpack. <laughs> so yeah, this guy's pretty cool. Again, I just I freaking love the way that they designed these figures. Yeah, it sucks that you cannot move them, but it's just so damn funny to have these figures all pissed off and I'm gonna kick your ass and all this stuff and whatever. And they don't even they don't even fight for real. They just uh, throw basically food. It's it's just like a food fighters. Um, they just 
again, fight with food. <laughs> so here's this guy over here. That's his name. Okay. And he is also not complete. He is missing some stuff. But overall, he is still in nice condition, as in not scratched up, stepped on, uh, parts like uh, somebody cut him up or scraped him up or anything like that. He's just missing his accessories, which is not a lot of accessories, but still pretty cool. Okay, let's put him away. Let's get the next figure which is this guy right here and he's missing his accessories which is that's his name okay and this is this figure right here and again just look at these guys man I mean how can you not like these figures <laughs> also that right there the blue that is part of the plastic to make it uh, this actual color the rubber or the PVC type uh, plastic that they used um, you know it didn't blend in as well as it could have so eventually by age that color will pop out so or those colors and other colors and <laughs> all that stuff that they actually use uh, different colors to mix together to make a certain color so this is this guy's name right here and he's almost complete but not really I don't think maybe he is complete I don't see anything else that hooks onto this actual thing here and I'm talking about this thing so yeah I guess he is complete so <laughs> just freaking awesome love these guys so you can see that some of these guys are dated. Uh, for the toy line, you did have uh, two series of toy lines. Ah, uh, sorry. Two <laughs> series of toys. So you had the first series, you had the second series. The first series had four figures. So you had four rams and then you had four porks. So again, this is the name, and this guy just reminds me of Rambo. <laughs> just freaking awesome, man. Just awesome. Okay, so yeah, I love this one, this actual figure, more than any other ones because, again, he looks like Rambo, a freaking Rambo sheep. <laughs> That's freaking badass. I just, oh man, I love it. I love this. It's so cool. Okay. So, very, very cool. Let's look at the next one. So, again, they had uh, two series. So, all together, you had eight uh, sheeps and you had eight uh, pigs, porks, warthogs, whatever you want to call them. And, uh, again, from there... Since the cartoon was cancelled, they stopped making the toys, which was sad, but there you go. Okay, for the pigs, look, let's look at this guy here. This is his name. Okay, and this is him right here. He's almost complete, but again, not complete. He's missing another rocket that goes here, and he's missing the other stuff that goes on top here. But overall, I'm just glad to have part of his accessories because, I mean, it would be just the figure like this, just the figure like that. And again, just the figure is freaking badass. I mean, just looking at them, <laughs> it's just freaking awesome. I love it. I can't tell you guys enough how much I love these toys, but they are. They are very cool. Okay, here's this guy right here. That's his name. He is missing his accessories. But still, very, very cool. It's just one of those things where it's like, 
It's so stupid. It's so stupid. But it's so funny at the same time. I just, I love it so much. <laughs> okay, so this is his name. And this is this guy right here. And again, most of these, uh, I did have doubles. I did trade uh, some of the extra ones that I had to friends and uh, people at the flea market and all that. But these are the ones that I kept because overall they are in pretty damn mint condition. They're not extremely mint. They're not just out of the box, but uh, overall they could have they could have been very bad overall, really. So there's this guy right here. Okay. This guy is also complete. This one is complete. Okay. Now again, let me, for the most part, let me take off his little top thing here so you can see his face and all that. So there's this one. You can see very nice condition. Very cool. Again, these are not, uh, uh, it's hard to explain. I mean, for the most part, these are pretty damn mint condition. Again, they're not scratched up. They're not paint wear. They're not missing, uh, like, parts of the actual sculpt. Like, um, somebody got a knife and cut it off or uh, part of the foot is missing and you can see inside the toy and all that. No, it's in pretty nice shape overall. So, yeah, very, very cool. Okay, putting this back on. So let's put him over here. And then we have this guy over here with his little RPK type machine gun there. That's his name. And that's how this guy comes. Again, like a machine gun nest. That shoots milk and eggs. <laughs> Again, it's just really stupid. Really funny. And yes, I love it. Again, it's one of those wacky toy lines from the late 80s, early 90s. And it's alongside the Toxic Crusader, alongside Captain Planet, um... The Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. And again, just Barnyard Commandos. <laughs> to throw that in. Just freaking funny. Hilarious. 1989. Right there. Okay. So again, very, very cool. Very, very cool. Okay. Now let's look at this other figure here. So here is this guy's name, and here's this figure right here, okay? So this guy reminds me of, I mean, every time I look at it, just the way I think about it, he's standing up straight, hands up in the air, he's holding this thing that looks like a boom box, <laughs> and it looks like the, the, how do you call it? The poster for the movie, Better Off Dead. <laughs> just That's what it reminds me of. I don't know. I'm just weird that way. I don't know. But it, it's really funny. So, very, very cool. Yes, you can take that off. So you just boop, pop it off like this. <laughs> so, yeah. The radar does move around. This little knobs over here, they do move, as you can see like this, okay? And that does move around, and you can see this guy's hands, hooves, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. And again, just awesome. Again, another 1989. Made in China. 
just great figures, man. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we're gonna put this one over here. Getting close to the end of the video, guys. So I always make my videos very long. I'm sorry about that, but there you go. Okay, now this guy here. Major Piggyback Gunner. <laughs> and again, uh, I could have gotten rid of this guy because I have him in the in the box right over there. But I really wanted him to be with the other guys that I have outside. Can I try and zoom in or at least focus here? I don't know. Okay, there you go. I didn't think it was going to focus for a minute there. 1990, made in China. Okay. So yeah, I wanted this figure to be with the other figures that I have here. So I can display them looking all tough and rugged. <laughs> Just awesome. Really, really cool. Uh, usually I have this guy fighting a ninja or something. Um, for the purposes of this video, I have him actually right here with uh, Porcapult, which is this right here. And um, what I think it's Playmates. Yeah, Playmates uh, redesigned toys for certain uh, toy lines to other toy lines so this was I think from Ninja Turtles and then later on they repurposed it as uh, the Robin Hood and then again they repurposed it as again Barnyard Commandos for this particular toy right here so you have your minigun and then I'm missing here I'm missing a ladder where the pig would, you know, climb on the ladder and then jump, hit here, and then the other pig that was there would launch away. <laughs> so, like this. And then, whew, <laughs> just fly off, basically. So, this is a very nice one. So, let's see. You have your little gears over here. It doesn't do nothing, it just makes noises. Just like that. This moves up and down. Here's your little controllers right here. That pops out. <clears throat> so that, you know, you can lock it into place. Doesn't really lock very well, but, you know, it's there. <laughs> so... Yeah, this is a very interesting little, you know, toy, but uh, there you go. And the last toys that we're going to be looking at right now is, at least, you know, open-wise, is this right here, the Bacon Bomber, which is the plane. So let's move this right here. Okay, let's pull this guy out and his name right here, which again, it's this guy right here. And this guy is awesome. <laughs> but first let's look at the plane. So, you have this. I mean, just look at that. It's so, it's so stupid. It's funny. <laughs> okay, so there's your aces. Your inside stickers and all that. Fire. Now, this one is missing most, if not all, its accessories. But the majority... And the most important, which is, you know, the tires, the propeller, the little window there, 
the back over here, this over here, all that is there. So it's missing again just the little bombs. So the bombs here. And if you're wondering what that is, it's a spider. You can see the spider. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, very, very cool. So again, the bacon bomber, that's your word, is the date to this. So it's right here. I'm gonna try and zoom in or focus again. 1990, Playmates Toys Incorporated. So yeah, this is very, very cool. Very nice little plane here. Very cool. Okay, so we're gonna put this aside. And we'll take a look at Major Mutton. <laughs> okay, so here's this guy. He is just awesome. I love this figure. And for the most part, again, you cannot move him. I mean, just look at him. It's just a little statue. Little PVC statue. So... <laughs> just freaking hilarious this one is complete and again this one is mint condition so just great great toys awesome I love it so we're gonna put this one over here again flying the plane <laughs> and the last thing we're gonna look at is these guys right here on the card now for the most part, this one is unpunched, but you can see that the actual blister is all crushed, which I do not mind at all. I don't care. Um, I just like looking at the, the card. I like to know that this is 100% complete with the paper in the back. And again, the artwork freaking awesome okay let's turn it around let's look at the back over here you guys can pause this and read it if you want barnyard commandos <laughs> just freaking love it oh man it's great collect them all Okay, so right here you can see the porks and the rams. And just like G.I. Joe, you have your file cards. So again, you can pause that and read it if you want. And you have your save one snout point or what is it yeah snout point <laughs> okay so from this one now we're gonna look at the last one and then that'll be the end of this video guys so look at this one here this one is punched but the blister is perfect mint condition just beautiful again complete as you would expect from a mint condition on card, you know, toy, figure, collectible, whatever you want to call it. And again, I'm not going to really focus too much here because it's the exact same thing as you saw before. But this one has a different file card, obvious, obvious reasons. <laughs> Let me, there you go, you can pause that and read it. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this review. We're gonna move on to the next, but uh, for the most part, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, these are wacky, stupid, funny toys, funny, uh, collectibles, little statues, figurines, whatever you want to call it. It's great. I love it. 
uh, just to display it. Just great, great stuff, man. Again, missing two and missing two vehicles. But overall, they are in great condition. And I'm very happy to have all of these. Alright guys, I hope you're doing safe out there. And, uh, you know, stay safe to everybody. Alright guys, see you in the next video. Bye.